Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's third and final video. So day 10 is going to take us to around the 9th of July. We'll be able to send out beyond that. We have sent GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. I'm going to have a look at CFS V2 at the end of video the next four weeks, which takes us uh, towards the uh, last stages of July, of course. Have the models coming to light. We did a video yesterday, uh, the nightmare before July with these uh, models. We'll see whether they're coming to light uh, today or not. And I shall get on that for you in a second. Just to say, I'm going to be taking a few days off uh, next week. So from Monday to Saturday uh, next week, I'm going to have a little bit of a rest and uh, uh, recharge for battery. It's been a busy few months, so I'll take a few days off. Uh, next week, I think. Uh, there will still be uh, content on the channel, so uh, Sav is going to be doing the uh, daily uh, forecast for you. Uh, so that will be, uh, you know, those videos will still be uh, appearing on the channel every day. Um, there may be a historic video or something as well that I get done uh, for next week, but I'll be able to upload to the channel uh, next week uh, as well. So just watch your space uh, on that. But yeah, Gaz going to have a little bit of a break. And so we're going to go from uh, Gaz Weathers to Sabs Weathers in a few days next week. That'll be funny, won't it? Uh, right, thank you so much to Sav uh, for uh, stepping in for me while I have a bit of break next week. Right, let's just have a look at this then. So uh, yesterday uh, we got a tropical storm uh, developed uh, just off the coast of uh, South Carolina and Georgia. Tropical storm Danny. That's moved inland now and it's just the remnants of Danny. So very, very short-lived tropical storm uh, blew up yesterday. Uh, and uh, I say that is now the remnants of Danny moving inland into the southeastern part of the state. So that's a decaying feature. We also have this yellow X just here, which is Disturbance 1, with a 30% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days. A low chance, but a medium chance um, forty percent chance of uh, cycle information in the next five days. So that's one uh, to keep an eye on, of course. Right, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, so red line is the thirty-year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off close to average at the moment. The upper air temperatures are actually going to lift up later on in the week and into the weekend. It will become quite warm for a, a time. And then on into next week, uh, it looks like it's reasonably warm for a few days early next week. And then the upper air temperatures are dropping a little bit. There is one very hot outlier, and I'm sure you're spotting uh, just there. But other than that, uh, it looks like we could be a little bit warmer than average, you know, a little bit on the warm side, but nothing particularly hot. Uh, by the look of it, and also quite unsettled as well. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we've got a couple of dry days coming up around the middle part of this week, but at the end of the week, into the weekend, through to next week, it looks quite unsettled, uh, to be honest. So the GFS ensembles are looking, yes, they are looking relatively warm, but they're looking pretty unsettled as well, to be honest. The temperature anomaly from the 29th of June to 7th of July is coming out warmer than average in many parts of the country. It's still a little bit below average, actually, across uh, the far southern part of the country. Maybe a surprise given that uh, graph that we uh, just looked at. Um, but it's not a particularly big deviation, but most central northern and western areas are warmer than average in the weekend. And precipitation wise, it does look a bit more unsettled in all areas now. So this is from the 29th of June to 7th of July, just looking a bit wetter than average, really, through many parts of the country. The, uh, G the These anomaly charts are based on the GFS, so um, the GFS has shifted a little bit towards more unsettled weather. Next week, uh, the latest wind flow map from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that uh, we're pulling in a bit of a northerly uh, wind uh, today, north northeasterly. Um, but high pressure dominating across the northern half of the country. We do still have this stubborn area of low pressure to the south, but I know brought some thunderstorms across the far southern part of the country yesterday. Um, it's quite a humid wind, though. Although the wind is coming in from like the northeast, it is a relatively uh, humid wind. And if the sun was to be out, it would actually be quite warm down in the south. But there is a lot of cloud uh, that we've got across the southern half of the country. In the north, though, there is plenty of sunshine and it's pretty warm uh, in the north. Right, let's have a UK Met is looking for Tuesday. Let's just put webcam on, shall we? 
Okay, there we go. So it's how you came out. It's looking for Friday from uh, the weather outlook. High pressure dominates on Friday. So the end of the week will turn generally drier and warmer into the weekend. Saturday, dominated by high pressure Getting over into the east northeast country. Plenty of dry and warm weather. Wind pushing up from a southerly direction. By Sunday, low pressure just begin to break through a little bit. So certainly probably start to turn showery in southern and western parts of the country. Then through to next week, we begin to bring this area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. This is midnight on uh, midnight on Monday when it looks like bringing low pressure in off the Atlantic and looking generally quite unsettled. And there's another low downstream just there by as far as we get to, which is midnight on Tuesday. Another low downstream. It looks like it's probably going to go in the same direction and uh, uh, bring another spell of unsettled weather in the middle part of next week. But, but, but as always, I was trying to ridge in between those two lows, but I've got a feeling this low will probably flatten off uh, that ridge if the uh, if the UK Met, you know, was to verify. Right, so that's UK Met done. Let's have a look at GFS Midnight Run. Uh, this is how things looking on Friday. Again, high pressure ridging through the country, bringing plenty of uh, dry weather towards the end of week. There will still be showers around, but I think it does dry out Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Saturday should be mostly dry, but by Sunday, this low is starting to get closer to us from off the Atlantic as we go from Sunday to Monday, we actually bring low pressure in across the country. So showers along as well as rain breaking out through next weekend. And then into next week, just when quite unsettled, really, that first low moves up towards Scandinavia. We've got another low downstream. Matt's heading in our direction uh, as well. And so as we get towards day 10, which is uh, Friday the 9th of July, we're not going to unsettle. We're under an area of low pressure with showers along the spells of rain and pretty cool uh, conditions as well. Into the more extended range, the uh, GFS Midnight Run just keeps it quite a sound. It's this low into quite a significant feature around the 13th of July. There's a big warm set to it, Bat, so it is quite warm. Um, but you see it is turning pretty windy, so that turns warm, wet and windy. Uh, and then up to the middle of July, which gets to the 15th, the GFS Midnight Run is, uh, is looking quite unsettled, uh, to be honest, with, with more low pressure around the country. So the GFS has definitely shifted from its hot, dry outlook that it was uh, going for yesterday to something uh, much much more unsettled and rather cooler uh, as well. Uh, right, let's have a look at 6 then, see what that's doing. Uh, so uh, again, we've got this low pressure coming in over the weekend that will bring showers if not long as well as rain in off the Atlantic over the weekend. This low pressure will stick around the country into the early part of next week as well. The first low takes the rain into low countries. The next low is out in the Atlantic. That's heading in through the middle of next week, bringing further spells of uh, wet and windy weather uh, with it. The second half of next week looking unsettled as well with the GFS 6 said low pressure to the north of Scotland. Showers, if not long spells of rain uh, coming through with that. We're beyond day 10 now and we're still looking quite unsettled. A little bit of a reach beginning to try to build there as we move up towards the middle part of July, but not really going to be able to come to much as by the 15th, uh, as far as we go, with the GFS today, uh, 15th of July. Again, uh, the next low is coming in. So the GFS, big shift from the GFS operationals to something uh, much more unsettled. Are all the models coming in to line? Let's have a look at the GM. If you're enjoying this video, please uh, like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. And drop a comment as well after the video and let us know uh, what you think. Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, right, okay, so this is how the GM's going for Friday. Again, rich and high pressure means quite a lot of dry and warm weather at the end of week. That just about holds on into Saturday, but by Sunday, the low is breaking through from off the Atlantic, will bring spells of rain in with it. Through to the open next week, we look unsettled with low pressure again, sitting around the country, that will bring showers, if not more, longer spells of rain uh, through the early part of next week. And then running up towards day 10, Again, the GM keeps it unsettled. So uh, around day nine, which is the 8th of July, we do try to pull up some heat from the cell, but all that does is sort of trigger low pressure. It might be thundery um, around the 8th, 9th of July. But the GM is also very unsettled. Are the models converging? Are they all coming into line? Let's have a look and see what the ECM is doing. Have we finally got all of the models in agreement? Let's see. So uh, Friday, again, ridge of high pressure 
is uh, for every country should be a rebound of dry weather at the end of the week. Saturday looks mainly dry, but by Sunday, this low is trying to break through from off the Atlantic. That brings up very really showery conditions, I think, through Sunday into a part of next week. Uh, right, Tuesday, uh, low pressure deepening in the Atlantic. Is this going to push in and uh, along with all the other models, give us an unsell spell next, uh, middle of next week? No, it doesn't. Look at this. The ECM has shifted to a hotter, drier outlook uh, for next week. Just as you thought, there was all coming into line and converging around an unsettled uh, week next week. Look what the ECM decides to do. Stalls below in the Atlantic and builds up this area of high pressure over the UK and Western Europe. And so that turns us uh, very warm, probably hot, through the middle of next week and will be pretty dry as well. Might some scattered thunderstorms, but looks pretty dry and hot through the middle of next week. With the ECM, yeah, we still do not have agreement about next week's weather. Uh, and looking very warm and dry all the way up to day 10, actually, which is the 9th of July. The low pressure is still out in the Atlantic. Albeit it's beginning to weaken the ridge a little bit now. Um, but still with this ridge through northern Western Europe, a lot of dry and, uh, and pretty warm, if not quite hot weather. Uh, to be honest, with the uh, ECM. So the GFS has shifted one way from a dry, warm outlook to a, a cooler, more unsettled outlook for the uh, next week. And at the same time, <laughs> the ECM has shifted the other way and <coughs> gone from like the cooler, unsettled outlook uh, to, to a hotter, drier outlook uh, for next week. So the model nightmare goes on, to be honest. <laughs> Still don't have agreement. Right, let's have a look at the precipitation type forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So showers will be easing down through the rest of this week. Going to be turning drier until the weekend. And then we have this rain coming in from the Atlantic. Showers along as well as rain over the weekend and into the early part of next week. And then, of course, that ridge of high pressure takes over. So through much of next week, the ECM is turning dry with any rain kept uh, well away from us, uh, you know, in the Atlantic, just the far west north country. By day 10, though, it looks like the wet weather just begins to break through. Uh, a little bit. So, um, but a lot of dry weather uh, next week once we get sort of Monday out of the way. Anyway, we go to generally dry uh, weather through next week with the ECM and pretty hot too. Right, we'll have a look at the options on the table and see how much support that uh, operational run has. So let's do that then. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10, which will get us to the uh, 9th of July. 16 members of the ECM Ensembles, including the control and the operation run, have above average heights dominating across northern and western Europe. A lot of dry weather uh, and uh, warm to hot weather with that. We have 11 just here with a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland and a trough of low pressure to our east. And that's going to bring in quite a cool northerly. We have 10 with low pressure right over top of the country. 9 with low pressure just to our west. And 5 with a ridge of high pressure from the Atlantic into the UK and Western Europe. So we've got 16 here with five there. So that's 21, but uh, towards higher pressure and warmer dry conditions. But then we have 11 just here, along with 10 just there and nine just there uh, that are, uh, you know, uh, that, are, that are cooler and much more unsettled and low pressure dominated. So actually the majority option within the ECM ensembles looks like it involves low pressure either over the country or slight to the east but uh, low pressure and and a cooler more unsettled outlook is the majority option within the ecm ensembles but there is a significant minority including both the control and the operational room that are much more anti-cyclonic so the, the ecm ensembles are split i think about which way uh, this is going as with all of the model output, let's have a look at Service V2 finally, uh, and then we're done. So these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes from the 29th of June to the 5th of July. The coming week will be dominated by high pressure over and to the north country and bringing in a very warm uh, easterly type flow. Uh, so high pressure in control. Now look at this week two, CFS is consistent. Out of all of the models, um, the CFS has been consistent about, you know, uh, the first half of July being very warm, possibly hot and dry, and it still goes on. It could be, but it's consistently wrong about this, but you have to say it is sticking to its guns. This is week two, the 6th through to the 12th of July, with high pressure still over the country and slightly to uh, north, still bringing in these very warm or hot easterly 
wins week three. Look at this, dominated by high pressure again. It's the 13th to the 19th of July with high pressure right over top of the country. Once more, that will be a, a very warm to hot and dry week. And it still goes on to week four. It's the 28th to 26th of July. This is right. It's going to be a very hot July, I have to say, if this is, if this is right. Uh, we've got high pressure in week four still over. Straight to the east of the country. Winds still coming in from an east to south east direction. So plenty of warm and dry weather there. I have to say the CFS is incredibly consistent about this. That doesn't necessarily mean it's right. It could be consistently wrong. Um, but it, it is very, very consistent about this high pressure dominate, dominated July. Bringing loads of dry and uh, warm or hot weather with it. So it's all to be revealed. Still the, uh, still the uncertainty goes on, particularly in relation to what's happening next week. Um, it does look as though, I mean, let's just uh, go here. So I'll just say that if you enjoy the video, please don't you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tell your friends and family, everybody else who subscribe. Thank you so much to all of you uh, for doing that. And drop a comment and let us know uh, what you think about this and all of our video. Thank you so much. If you subscribe, you're going to be able to see future weather content, uh, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I think the models have probably, like the shorter range anyway, have probably, despite that warm, dry ECM, I think the shorter range has probably shifted towards a more unsettled outlook next week actually with the shift within the GFS and the GFS ensembles combined with the GEM um, all looking quite mixed and, and even the ECM uh, ensembles the majority option is towards rather cooler and more unsettled weather next week so so it looks like the operation was actually a little bit of an outlier uh, with that hot um, dry weather next week um, so I think the short range model output have shifted a little bit actually towards cooler uh more and so 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 that that's like i think they're firmed up in that direction but it might swing again uh you know this is a very 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 uncertain period as we've already uh established and discussed in the videos over the past few days so uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see it will be re resolved very soon um next week's weather so you've, we've not got much longer to wait to see uh where this is uh going will it be hot and dry next week or turn hotter and drier or, or will it be cooler and more unsettled with rain? We shall find out in a day or so's time, I think. Maybe as early as tomorrow uh, we'll have agreement, I would have thought about this. Right then, so that's it for today's videos. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to do USA forecast. Of course, we'll bring you up to date with that incredible heat wave that's been going on in the uh, west of the northwestern part of America. So that's coming up for you uh, tomorrow. We'll also have a 10 to 14 day uh, as well so that's going to be great and uh yeah i'll see you tomorrow you enjoy the rest of your tuesday and for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching